Scorpio, happy May. I hope you are doing well. Okay. Okay, guys, you know I shuffle offline. I clear the energy. Okay. There we go. You don't need to see that, right? Okay. The overall energy, guys, is the seven of coins. Okay. It's a card of moving in a different direction. Okay. In this read. Um, let things go at their own pace. Don't push things. Okay. Something is aligning behind the scenes for you. You're either thinking about moving somewhere else, uh, not like right next door. You're thinking about making a move somewhere else, um, doing something else. Be patient, okay? This is all coming together. If you've hit some speed bumps here, like I said, this is just the energy though. If you hit some speed bumps, know that things are aligning exactly how they're supposed to, so don't pay it any mind, okay? Okay, the overall uh, crux of this uh, read is the Six of Swords. It's moving away from something uh, that uh, you're moving on to calmer waters. You're moving away from something that, that just isn't working for you, okay? It's an anxious time, I'm not going to lie, okay? And how it shows up is uh, the three of... Uh, swords. That is a heartbreak card. It's also a card of breaking old patterns. You could be moving away from a way of doing things into another way of doing things. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's, uh, heartbreak comes in many forms. It doesn't just come from a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Heartbreak comes in many forms, okay? And that's what I think we're looking at here, not necessarily a relationship, although it could be in the crux of it all here. It's just moving on uh, blindly because you just need to do it. You just need to do it for you, okay? Sometimes the natural order of how things unfold is just, uh, it just leaves you here. You don't bank on it, but sometimes things just don't work out, sadly, okay? It's just, it's all part of life, and usually it's opening a door for something else, okay? In the past, you've got the hermit. So you gave some thought to this. Uh, it wasn't something you just decided to just take a sharp left in your life. You thought about it, and uh, with some angst, you moved forward, and that's wonderful, okay? I think you found within yourself, too, um, that you know it's best to do this. I think that that was a resolution that you came to on your own, and that's lovely, okay? Not only that you realized it, but that you actually trusted it. That's that's huge, okay? And the payoff for that will be even bigger, okay? What crowns your reading here is the Seven of Wands. That is, you're defending something here. You're in defensive mode. This is a destiny card, though. It's about courage and victory and standing up for the things that uh, that are right for you. Keep going the way you're going, keep trusting yourself the way you're trusting yourself, and keep moving, physical movement, keep moving, okay? What anchors this, uh, your foundation here, is the Three of Wands. Again, it's a card of movement, travel. I think you're moving somewhere far. Um, there's just indecision around that. There is travel here. You're definitely, you're definitely moving somewhere. Um, The outcome card, what's going to transpire over the next year, is the Page of Cups. I love this card. B 
because after all of this is said and done, it doesn't jar you. It doesn't jade you. You bounce back. I shouldn't say you bounce back. You step into a whole new you. And this card to me has innocence in it. It's a card of just uh, not being jaded by things in life. You know, you're, you're, you're making your fresh start a fresh start, like a clean slate. You're not bringing any baggage with you. Um, I think that's wonderful. This is also someone who is very intuitive. Um, uh, once you make a decision, you make a decision. And uh, I think this is wonderful. But to come out on the other side of this, and this was not an easy decision to make. I think something may have uh, forced your hand to do this. Like you just could not take it anymore. It was the lesser of two evils. You just basically jumped. And not only did you jump, you uh, kept that innocence about yourself. Meaning, you know, you didn't, your scars aren't visible and you're keeping it that way. And it's not that you're hiding them. You're really just wanting a fresh start and you're getting it. Okay, how it shows up here where you are is the Nine of Wands. Okay, this is the card of feeling like you've been kicked ten ways to Tuesday, but yet you're still going. This to me is uh, drawing boundaries for yourself, which you've done. Um, forward movement, which you're doing. Okay, not losing focus when things get tough, which you're not doing. Um, I just don't see that happening in this reading, period. I see you you made a decision and you're going for it, okay? This is the 11th hour card, okay? Don't quit now. You have what it takes to do this. If you need a cry fest day, take it. It's okay. You're going to make it where you're going. This is There's huge power in this reading here, um, and I couldn't be more, more happy to be able to deliver it. Your domestic situation is the Queen of Cups, okay? She is, there we go, Queen of Cups. We love her. She's uh, the psychic card. She's the kind card. She's just, you know, she's the kill with kindness queen, okay? She's just loving. Um, she makes you feel special. This is someone who really, for no other reason, just to do it. She's just that, uh, that nice. Unconditional love. If that is at her core. You know, she's just unconditional love. She's loyal. She was someone who will walk with you on your journey, okay? This could be a good friend. Um, this is someone really who would just uh, hold your hand through all of this and, and just be grateful to, to do that. That's lovely, okay? Your hopes and fears, you've got the Four of Cups. That's a card of... Uh, you know, we're all entitled to pity days. This is a card of feeling sorry for yourself sometimes. It's a card of taking a step back um, and really checking in with yourself. And I think with all that you've been through, I can't even say I'm surprised that you wouldn't do this because I'm not. Someone who has this much oomph to do exactly what you did in the manner in which you did it, I'm, 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 I'm thrilled to be able to, to, to deliver this. It's wonderful. Okay, there we go. In the outbound, we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups show up here. These could be family members. They could be friends. This could be after all of this, or maybe you moved for this. This is the King of Cups. He's in your outbound. Where am I? Here we go. Okay, King of Cups. This is again, falling in love with your best friend, okay? This is someone that um, you were friends and uh, then one of you just discovers, you know, I really do love this person, period. And why didn't I see it before? It's that kind of, uh, and you could use that after all of this. Um, and maybe that's why you were moving, Um Maybe you came up against some opposition where, you know, people didn't want you to go or uh, that's why I said keep it close to your chest. And and not only did you, you, you were very focused on where you were going and you got there. Um,
if this isn't a love interest, um, however, please let me know how this, what this is actually, uh, this is, this is wonderful, this reading. If this isn't a relationship, if this is actually just an energy, you've got the Page of Cups, you've got the Queen of Cups, you've got the King of Cups. I think this this is a relationship or these are family members I think this is a relationship and it's a good one too you know what's funny through all of this reading you've made these steps but you've never lost who you are you've critiqued your life but at the core you know who you are and that's wonderful if something on the tail end of this journey for you shows its head in a way that you don't expect, something throws you off, you come up against opposition, don't be flustered by it. Pay it no mind, uh, let it shock you, but, but just don't react, let it pass through. Because when he shows up in a reading too, that's what he says. Something may throw you off course, pay it no mind. He knows, he has staying power, he doesn't get ruffled in the storm. He knows who he is, he's divinely connected, um, as are you, let this play out. Um, how it's supposed to stay your course. You're going to get where you're going. Uh, this is a lovely reading. I don't think I need any clarifiers on this. This is a lovely reading. Thank you so much. Uh, I greatly appreciate it and have a wonderful night. Thank you. I hope I have helped you in some way.